Dear Tacitus, As you requested of me, I write to you this letter regarding the death of my uncle, Gaius Plinius Secundus, so that he may always be remembered. He was at Misenum in his capacity as commander of the fleet, when on the 24th of August, 79, between 2 and 3 in the afternoon, a cloud of unusual size and shape began to rise from Vesuvius. White, with dark patches of dirt and ash, and shaped a bit like a pine tree. The sight of it made the scientist in my uncle determined to see it from closer at hand, so he ordered a boat mate ready and embarked himself directly toward the danger. Ash was raining onto the ships, darker and denser the closer they went, then felt bits of pumice, and finally rocks that were blackened and burned by fire. At the onset of dusk, my uncle decided to turn to Stabiae and take refuge with his friend Pompeianus. Broad sheets of flame were lighting up many parts of Vesuvius, ever so vivid against the darkness of the night. With a pretense of cheerfulness, to allay the fears of his friends, my uncle dined and then retired to rest. The next morning, the ground outside had risen with ash and stone so that he could barely open the door. It was daylight now elsewhere in the world, but here the darkness was darker and thicker than any night. There were women lamenting, children crying and men shouting. Many raised their hands to the gods and even more believed that there were no gods any longer and that this was one final unending night for the world. There was a strong smell of sulphur announcing the approach of flames. My uncle tried to stand up and flee with the others, but his breathing was obstructed by the dust-laden air, and he collapsed and died. The daylight did not come back until two days later. The sight that met our still terrified eyes was a changed world, buried in ash, as if it was snow.